Good afternoon. It is Christmas Eve. I just got home from work. We worked until one, ran, did a couple of errands, and I am going to make ham sliders for Christmas Eve. Easy peasy, did them last night. Yeah. I'm going to do pizzelles. I just got a pizzelle maker. This is going to be the first time I'm a virgin pizzelle maker. And um, it's probably not going to go well, but who cares? It's family night. Makes me happy. I'm rolling them for cannolis. Now explain to me why this is so hard. I can't get them to roll. They keep unrolling. Now this is just not right. Look. I want to make cannolis. It's just not happening. They're all cracking. Look, come on. They're all cracked. I'm not a happy camper right now. What's wrong with this? So, no cannolis. I have three pounds of cheese. What am I gonna do with it? Ricotta cheese, I guess I'm making a lasagna tomorrow. I got two, two. Remove my unit, and they're still white. However, will they roll? Without cracking? No. They're a cracked up mess. Just made my second batch of pizzelles to roll into cannolis and have found out that it's not happening. This batch I made a little thinner. So now you can see through them, but you still can't roll them. You know, if I didn't try so hard, it wouldn't be as big a deal. But all these beautiful cells that are supposed to be cannolis that I really planned on making into cannolis are not going to happen. The other thing I made for tonight, because today's Christmas Eve, a ham sliders, and I made them in like on a cookie sheet while I got them prepared. And now they should have gone right into the pan that I'm going to deliver them with, the, the disposables. So I'm going to try to transfer them before I cook them. I'm not showing you that because if they fall on the floor, I swear to God, I'm picking them up and putting them in anyway. Just kidding, folks. Maybe. I know you should make a first attempt at anything when you need it. However, that's half the fun. Watching how much I can screw up. Luckily, I'm old enough now that when I screw up, remember how when we were younger, if something went wrong, you had a nervous breakdown? Now when something goes wrong, I look at it as an opportunity for me to keep it. Pizzelle fatigue was nowhere near as easy as everybody tells me it is. They're done. Not one cannoli to be seen. And then I have just as many broken ones. That will be tea until I have a sugar high or a sugar coma, not sure which one it will be. So before I cook them, I'm going to cut them. Can you say disaster in the making? So before I throw them in the oven, I'm going to cut them just in a couple of big pieces. I'll cut them up completely afterwards, I think, and transfer them to here. You wanna bet? You never know until you try. So this is one, yeah, these are two big pieces. Uh, no, no, let's not. Thank you. I heard somebody say, don't do it. And I appreciate it because that was going to be a bad idea. All right. No blood, so I didn't cut my fingers. <laughs> oh, that didn't work. Look at Oh, God, I forgot. All right, so we have all the bottoms sitting over here. We have the <laughs> Where did they go to? Who's bottomless? Oh, all of you are. Holy moly. All right, you go there. You go here. Okay, you go here. All right. 
they all have a bottom now, more or less. Oh, the ones that don't can go without. Everybody block your ears because I'm about ready to scream at Miss Parker. Parker, get. Oh. Anybody want to cap the Christmas? I'm going to be gifting one to anybody who wants it. Ready to go. Oh my goodness, I can't get dressed. Here we go. Everything is more or less done. Done as much as it's gonna be. I'm losing a button. God bless America. That button's not gonna make the night. Pocketbook with all the cough drops. Slippers for the kids, pizzas and sandwiches. And I am ready to go see the family for Christmas Eve. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And um, when I get home, I'm going to turn the lights off, have my tree on, and sit and look for Santa. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Merry Christmas, everyone.